tell you, uh, when you get that kind of opportunity for folks to spend some time yeah. in their garden, I guess the question right now is, can we continue on with that process this weekend? Because it looked great today. Yeah, well, you know, they asked me, uh, when's the next freeze? Because it's been two days after Christmas, last time it, we had freezing temperatures at DFW. It's been really warm around here. Let's talk about the radar real quick, Steve. It, it looks like it's raining, right? No, it, it's not even hitting the ground. The air is way too dry. I'll show you that in a second, but we got the clouds and this stuff moving off from the west to the east. This goes on for a few more hours. There might be a sprinkle or two hit the ground by the end of it. The real thunderstorm activity is down by Huntsville and College Station and headed into Louisiana on a wide view. You can see the cloud cover stretches all the way back into West Texas, but it'll get here in the morning hours tomorrow. Again, I don't think any of this rain or anything significant actually reaches the ground across North Texas in the overnight. But by the time we get to 6 a.m., the last of the clouds will already be leaving at break of day. And we'll have a sunny day tomorrow. Sunshine for Sunday with temperatures getting up into the 60s. Your forecast tomorrow uh, will start around 40 degrees. We, we get up to around 60 for an afternoon high. The winds won't be as breezy as they were today or really still going on this evening, a little bit of that north wind. But a, a cold front actually came through today during the morning hours and the dew points. It was getting a little humid for this time of year. This morning, if you're out early in the morning and through the course of the day, on the other side of this front, that dry air came pouring in. The reason I point this out, this really helps with pollen at least for a day because these above normal temperatures here so far in January, these pollen counts have been pretty high, but they'll come down tomorrow a little bit before they start rising back up on Monday. Here's your three day forecast 60 tomorrow, 67 on Monday. 70s on Tuesday. I point out the average high this time of year is in the mid 50s. And by the time we get to Wednesday, we'll be about 20 degrees above that. Yeah, we're thinking mid 70s on Wednesday with clouds and a strong south wind. It'll be very windy, by the way, on Wednesday. Keep in mind the last measurable rain now at DFW was in the middle of December. That's how long it's been. This is a little bit of rain chance that shows up in the overnight hours and Thursday morning, mostly in our eastern counties. The front will bring in a north wind, but it doesn't even look like it'll be that cold. Temperatures will be in the low 60s, and that'll be the afternoon high. We'll probably be in the 50s on Friday, but believe it, in the next 10 days, that's that's the only day we think temperatures will be in the 50s for highs. Otherwise, way above normal temperatures like Wednesday when we'll be into the mid 70s. Again, that's a windy day. That's a very windy day with the front coming through on Thursday and Friday still breezy and temperatures in the 50s. But we go into next weekend, Steve, with mostly sunny skies on Saturday and temperatures in the 60s. I think we are going to take that, sir. Jeff, thank you.